What is good YouTube, Wolf's you here with a video on Wolverine in the MCU and how it's going to start shifting pretty fast. So we know Marvel now owns the Fox characters, so they own Deadpool, they own the Fantastic Four, they own everyone. Galactus, Doctor Doom, absolutely everyone. So if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the content. So it's highly unlikely that Hugh Jackman will be returning as Wolverine. Yes, I know there was multiple, multiple videos on Wolverine appearing in Endgame. Some videos breaching 5 million views, but he didn't show up. There was a lot of things said about Avengers Endgame, who was appearing, who was the bigger threat, when realistically there was no bigger threat. But you know, content is content. So let's dive old. So Kevin Feige's already revealed plans for MCU Phase 4 indirectly without directly saying anything because as we know it will most likely come out at San Diego in July Comic-Con obviously or it will come out at Disney 23 later in the summer in August so it, this has already officially been said it's been a while it's all just beginning and the five-year plan that we've been working on we were working on it before any of this was set Feige said so really it's much more of us less about specifics of where and when will the X-Men appear right now more just the comfort factor and how nice it is their home that they are all back but it will be a very long time so after that he came out and said it's going to at least be up to five years before the x-men appear now don't get me wrong guys this doesn't mean they can't cast another wolverine and recently in the news i guess you could say or also in the news you could say guys is there's been a lot of news about who's going to be this character, who's going to be Adam Warlock, who's going to be Wolverine, etc. Which is very interesting. There's been a lot of names tossed around. Many times people have come out with Keanu Reeves, which, yeah, don't get me wrong, he is literally a super human. He's a beast. I mean, you'd still think he's back in his Matrix days, but it is interesting. So in a recent interview with BuzzFeed.com, Reeves was asked which Marvel or DC superhero character he would like to play. He would love to play on the big screen and essentially his answer was when I was a kid I always wanted to play Wolverine so Wolverine and as you know Ultra Raw a good friend of the channel Instagram art is one of the best out there made fan art for Wolverine being Keanu Reeves a long time ago and a lot of people do they want him to play the next Wolverine but the problem is he is his age is his age he still can go you've seen John Wick 2 and recently John Wick 3's come out they've already announced John Wick 4 to come out literally one month before the next Batman movie comes out if that ever actually comes out because you know what dc's like they announce movies that never seem to come like the flash movie isn't going to come ever so he's already 54 so if kevin feige is saying the x-men aren't coming for at least five years that means he's gonna have to be 60 which get me right based on the latest john wick movie he could easily go as wolverine and all he has to do is grow a bit of beard put about 10 20 pounds of muscle on then boom get a bit of stereotype cycle boom then he would look like wolverine get the claws cool he could do it but realistically, will Marvel build the next Wolverine around an older actor? No offense. Uh, I don't really think they're going to do that. Obviously, they have done it in the past. And obviously, characters like Angelina Jolie has been casted in the Eternals movie, we believe. But I don't think that the X-Men Wolverine character will be cast in someone older. I mean, it doesn't make a lot of sense to cast people in the Fantastic Four and X-Men are people older than 40 realistically it would make no sense to me so 30 to late 30s at latest would make sense because you gotta understand wolverine is such an iconic character especially since Hugh jackman just hung up his claws after playing the role for 17 years disney will be rebooting the x-men franchise after dark phoenix comes out later next month so that's going to be cool to see if any actors are going to make it over at characters and actors like michael fassbender James McAvoy, they're very good actors, whether they want to recast them. I don't really think, except for D Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool, that they want any characters to be associated with the Fox X-Men because obviously most people perceive that the Fox X-Men movies aren't good. It's like saying Iron Man 3 is good when it's not because you know it's not. So not every kind of Marvel movie is great. Not every Fox movie is great. But some of the Fox movies aren't half as bad as what people are actually saying. So recently there are rumors going around the internet. I've waited a few days to see if any, any more like validity from one of the better publications comes out with it. So Henry Cavill is Superman, you know. He's got that Superman body back from Man of Steel 2. He had that insane physique. And we know he is going to be the main star of The Witcher. 
which is a Netflix show that will be coming out at, towards the end of the year, November, December. They haven't officially said when it's 100% coming out. So in fact, yeah, he could play it off age-wise. He's still fairly young. Size-wise, he'd probably need to get a tiny bit bigger, I think. I don't know. It depends what kind of look they go for. So yeah, sure, he could actually pull it off. Uh, he's a bit, uh, he, his acting needs a bit more improvement to pull it off. But yeah, he could, he could do it with obviously his roles in Mission Impossible and all the other roles, Man of Uncle, that kind of stuff that he's done. So yeah, sure, he could do it. Would I want him to be it? Well, realistically, guys, I don't want anyone to ever play Wolverine other than Hugh Jackman, but we're just, we're just gonna have to get through that. So there's been rumors going around and the rumor from the websites that we've been talking to and actually going through is this. There isn't really much evidence at all. It's so several media outlets say this there are strong rumors it is understood that marvel studios is auditioning henry cavill and rooting for him to participate as wolverine in the marvel cinematic universe um but after some digging i don't really believe this rumor i think maybe it's just like they're putting the feels out so maybe he could potentially be the next wolverine if you remember a while ago Everyone seemed to think for some reason that Daniel Radcliffe, who played Harry Potter, was going to be the MCU's version of Wolverine. I believe there's no validity to that. But if Henry Cavill is no longer going to play in Superman, uh, for some reason, DC, Warner Bros. Media have no interest in making a Man of Steel 2, which makes a lot more sense than making a Batman movie, realistically, because the fan base really wants Superman 2. But for some reason, they're not bothered. So if DC are not bothered about making a Superman role, then sure, why not? He would actually play a pretty good role, in my opinion. So there's a lot of actors that I put in this list that I think could, should, woulda, coulda be perfect for the role. So Tom Hardy is basically a perfect cast for any role before he played venom and eddie brock in the sony verse there was a lot of artists making images of him that made him look like an absolute badass character although he is 41 he is still young enough to play the role you just got to look at people like paul rudd who is now 50 but as the time of playing the first ant movie i believe he was 46 and marvel aren't scared of hiring older actors for main roles but you got to think a character like wolverine that he will be at least in five to six movies i'm presuming there's going to be a bunch of x-men movies a bunch of wolverine movies then i presume at some point they do the, the x-men versus the avengers and secret wars so i presume whoever plays wolverine will be signing a lengthy three to eight contract movie role so they're not going to cast someone that old and tom hardy although he is awesome with the bane role and all them kind of awesome performances he's just linked with venom now so i don't really think he could be wolverine and play venom although i really would like him to be him um he's not my favorite option he's a option so that's an option that people seem to like charlie hunman i believe that's how you say it he's been linked to playing the dc eu or dc warner bros green arrow for so freaking long he's mainly known for sons of anarchy and king arthur which he nailed it like king arthur legends of the sword amongst other things he could clearly play the role of although he's in his late 30s he could realistically play this role he literally looks like a spitting image of oliver queen green arrow so he literally could play wolverine He's got the beard, he's got the physique, he's got the like the rugged kind of hardcore look. So he literally could play any role for Wolverine if, if they wanted to cast him that. He's a fan favourite. But the next option is my like number one option, although I do think Henry Cavill could play it off. So Zac Efron, number one pick, because obviously he's been linked to Adam Warlock, although there's no verified or official information out there if you just watch baywatch i know it's a couple of years ago he is in pretty sick condition although we'd have to put a bit of size on or if you watch he's recently launched a youtube channel like a youtube fitness channel where zach efron is in pretty sick shape yeah like i said he'd need to get a tad bigger he is a bit short but wolverine isn't exactly the tallest person so zach efron would literally be the perfect cast to be the mcu's version of wolverine Although, like I said, Henry Cavill would also be a good option because realistically, I, I think that Henry Cavill is done with the Superman role because they're just not giving him what he wants, which is ridiculous. But if, if he's done with Superman, then Henry Cavill should, would it, could it, if, what if he could actually jump over to the MCU. There's no reason. I know Henry Cavill's actually been linked with playing Captain Britain, but I really hope the Captain Britain kind of story is, is not correct. So Scott Eastwood is also linked. Like I said, guys, there's a lot of people linked to playing Wolverine as Wolverine is pr pretty much one of the hottest roles to land when it comes to comic book characters. A lot of people would want to get the Wolverine position, 
But the four people who I've listed, I think they serve the most purpose in terms of getting the role, being able to nail it, having the beard, like a real beard rather than a prosthetic beard put in, which for me always looks ridiculous. Just let the actors grow real beards. You can tell if they're real. I know that Steve Jackman's beard wasn't all his, but it did look pretty legit. So guys, let me know down below. Are you on the hype that Henry Cavill is the next Wolverine? I mean, I wouldn't be annoyed. He looks awesome in the Witcher role from what we've seen so far. They haven't officially released a real trailer for it yet, but when they do, I think he is going to nail that role. And if you can nail that role, he could easily transition into playing Wolverine. Obviously, the fact that he's got a netflix contract means that he will be shooting for half a year but realistically most movies only take five to six months to shoot anyway so most actors can do big netflix shows and other tv shows whilst doing movie roles in their off season so it would be very interesting to see who is going to be the next wolverine in the marvel Cinematic Man universe although all the rumors and all the viral videos about wolverine appearing in endgame were wrong they got a lot of clout and a lot of traction for Instagrammers, YouTubers, literally everyone online saying Wolverine in Endgame because Google said Hugh Jackman was in Endgame. Realistically, it, he wasn't in it, was he? Or was he? Did I miss it? Because it's like, yeah, Galactus also wasn't in it. Kang the Conqueror wasn't in it. Living, like Literally everyone's interpretation was wrong. The closest one was the Living Tribunal when the writers came out and said they tried to put him in but like marvel wasn't really having it so they were supposed to put live in tribunal in infinity war in the scene on titan when they were fighting thanos but that didn't happen but it's just a speculation video so it would be pretty interesting to see who you guys want to play the next wolverine in the mcu i'd still put zach efron number one and then henry cavill after him because I'm just a fanboy for Zac Efron. I think he's literally got the perfect physique to play any role. And he is a pretty decent actor who is still fairly young. He's only 31, so he's got a lot of growth left in him. That's why I don't really favor an older actor because older actors are at the end of their careers. You want someone who's realistically in the middle of their career. Like I don't think Zac Efron's peaked at the moment. He, he's like in his middle. He's still got a lot of years left in him to play other roles. So like always, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment. We have launched a second channel, which is War Studio Vlogs, which we'll put in a, a, the first video on that channel we're very soon. It's very different to this kind of channel. But if you do want to support the channel, that it will be cool. And we also have a Patreon account. Uh, which is patreon.com forward slash warstew. But like always, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment, and I will catch you in another video very soon. Catch you later.